So today we're reviewing this Suntour Cyclone Mark II derailleur. Some tools you're gonna need, pliers, Allen keys, screwdriver, and a pick if you have one. This derailleur has already been rebuilt, so that's why it looks so clean. I'm gonna do a, polish it up a little bit and some of the springs also need greasing, so. So instead of awkwardly trying to unscrew this little pin thing here, we're gonna just take off the B-knuckle. First thing you wanna do, just pull the cage back and unscrew that pin. This is gonna relieve all the tension from the cage and it's gonna be a, make it a lot easier. Let the cage spring back. The cage should spring back all the way to here, about like 270 degrees. The person who I got this from put it together wrong, so that's why, and then go ahead and unscrew this little bolt. And there could be a little clip in here. If there is, you wanna poke it out with like a pick or some pliers or something and then take off your spring. And then you wanna grab a pick and twist off your other nut. And now for the pinochle, all you do is just hold it with an Allen key on one side, and on the other side, just grab your pliers, pin spin, or whatever, and twist it off. Now pop up your, now pop out your bolt. All right, and there you go. The derailleur is now all nice and taken apart. Now it's time to clean. And for this, I like to use some cleaner or a greaser. You can use alcohol, brake cleaner, acetone, whatever works. If you have rusty parts, you can use a brass brush or a steel brush. And if it's really rusty, you can put it in some vinegar or you can get some aluminum foil and water and scrub it off. And by the way, the spring, just leave it in there. Uh, you don't want to take it out because it's going to be very hard to put back in. So yeah. Also, the order in which you take off the bolt and the pulley really doesn't matter. Uh, I just find it to be easier that way so the bolt doesn't like move around. And also, when you're trying to take off the spring, a little helpful tip, you want to put a pick right in between the slot to kind of open it up. If you want to get the spring out easier so yeah all right now everything's all nice and cleaned down ready to assemble i don't know if you can tell but i did some pretty good polishing here on the aluminum and the chrome so on the chrome i used this quick glow stuff and for the aluminum i used the mothers and now another thing you're going to need for the assembly is grease you can use the park tool stuff and for the pulleys i'm going to use the sram butter all right, first thing we're going to do, P-knuckle, put a little bit of grease in there, just all the sides, get it all nice and good. Then grab your bolt and you want to put three washers on the end. All right, you want to make sure you got your three washers on, or maybe you have two, maybe the previous owner wasn't as careful, and then put it on, and then put on your other thingy, and put on your other nut or whatever it's called. And after I tighten it, you want to just grab the bolt and make sure it doesn't wobble around. All right, and before we get to the actual binnacle, we got to do the pulley first. So grab some grease for the pulley. You want to put a little bit of grease on the inside of this plastic part. Then you want to grab your metal bushing, slide it on, and you want to put a little bit of grease on the inside of the metal bushing as well. All right, so when you, when you got some grease on there, you want to grab your other metal seal, put it on, slide it in here. Then you want to grab your bolt, and you want to put some grease on there, stick it on, and then screw on your little nut. Alright, and before you put in your bolt, there's two very, very important things you want to consider. First of all, your little plastic seal is going to go on here, so you want to grease it up. I use some SRAM butter. That kind of grease is perfect for plastic seals and bushings, so this is why I'm using it. You want to make sure to grease up your seal, put it on the inside edge and a little bit on the outside right there. And next is the bolt. This is very important. You want to get the positioning right. There's this little hex key at the bottom here and you want to line up this little slot like this almost perpendicular to this little part right here now this is the normal setting for a Suntour derailleur so when you put on the spring you'll have to rotate the cage three quarters of a turn to put to put the pin on or if you want to have a slightly looser setting you can rotate it one click or spot clockwise like this 
and now you'll, you'll be rotating it at about half a turn, so it's going to be lighter. I'm just going to do it on the normal setting, like this, and you want to make sure also to put on your little seal first, because yeah, you got to put that on before. There you go, and then make sure it spins nice and smooth. And then make sure your pulley's greased up, make sure everything's all nice and greased up, and then put on your little nut retaining thing. And you want to make sure to tighten this down, so use a pin spanner or some pliers to make sure it's really on there. And then make sure your pulley spins smooth, and make sure this little plastic thing spins smooth. You could also use some oil on here as well. Alright, you, you want to make this tight, but you don't want to make it too tight. You just want to make sure this little plastic seal moves nice and good. And again, I recommend using like a light grease or an oil. And now you want to grab your cage, and you want to put some grease on the spring so it doesn't rust, and put on your cage. Now some of the seals have like a little notch to match the little spring here, but this one doesn't. If you have it, make sure to line it up and then slide it on. All right, and once you got it on, you want to put some light grease or just some kind of grease on the little top part. Then put on your little plastic seal. And you want to put some grease on top of that and screw on your bolt. And before you screw on your bolt, you want to make sure to put in your wedge, if you still have it, that goes in between the, in between the two slots and then screw on your bolt. And before you put on the bolt, make sure there's also a metal washer that goes in there. Make sure to grease it up and then put on your bolt. And this is the only part that sucks about not having the little wedge. When you screw in the bolt, you want to you want to screw it in just until those two jaws almost touch. Because if you screw it on too much, it's just going to strip the bolt. So screw it on as tight as you can. And then make sure it moves nice and smooth. And then you want to rotate the cage 270 degrees all the way around counterclockwise and then screw in your pin right there. All right, and then you wanna just check again, second time that it moves nice and smooth. There's no wobble in the cage. And then same thing for the tension pulley. I already discussed it, just put some grease on, don't put too much on. And finally, you wanna tighten down your pulley bolt. Make sure this all spins nice and good. Make sure this is all nice and smooth. And then you wanna tighten down your clamp bolt. And for the little thing that goes in there, you want to pull back the cage all the way and then kind of stick it in while it's upside down. That's the easiest way I found to do it. And then you have yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. It sucks I don't have the wedge for this derailleur. That's kind of the only thing holding it back. It's a really great derailleur, super light, super reliable. You can honestly make one just out of scrap metal if you have any. So yeah, these derailleurs are really nice when they work. And yeah, thanks to everyone who subbed. Hope you found this video helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.